fan training system for grapevines, grape video number 10. This presentation assumes a familiarity with the grapevine terminology presented in grape videos 1 to 5. Wow, look at this vineyard. This is not what we imagine that our vineyard will be when we plant new vines. Indeed, this vineyard has struggled for many, many years, and the grower continues to try to make a goal of it despite poor odds. What happened here was that the vineyard was planted on a poor site that is subject to spring freezes because it's quite flat. And in addition, it is planted on very heavy, wet clay ground and the vines get winter injured over and over and over again. And as you can see, many of them have died out. So when you have a situation like this, there are a few choices that can be made. When the chosen combination of vineyard site and variety lead to frequent winter injury, options that can be considered are abandon the vineyard. Say this was a mistake. This was not a place where a vineyard should be planted. This is not going to work and move on to other options. Or perhaps the site will work if you grow a hardier variety. So you pull out the vines that are being winter injured over and over again and you put in something more hardy and perhaps that will work for you. Or a third option is to cope with the current situation and use fan training. The advantage of fan training is that it's the best training system when coping with frequent severe winter injury to grapevines. And that's why we are presenting a video on this particular training system. We're going to present videos on about six or eight training systems. And we could present videos on perhaps 50 different training systems used worldwide. But we're going to present those that have some utility in cool climate viticulture. And the fan training system is one that we present because when you're coping with a less than desirable situation with frequent winter injury, the fan training system really should be highly considered for the job. Here's a situation that we've seen over and over again in a number of vineyards where we start to establish a training system, in this case, a midwayer cordon, two trunks. We start to bring the trunks up, establish the cordon, start spurring the cordons, and we just go through that whole process, and part of the vine dies back from winter injury. And you can see at the base of that trunk where the vine has died, crown gall has developed and killed that trunk. When this happens, all the work that a grower would go through to try to establish a cordon tr training system is for naught because with regularity, the vine will be killed back in this manner. Well, the advantage of the fan training system in addition to being the best training system for coping with frequent severe winter injury, is that it's really easy to establish the fan training system. Here it is. And by the fan training system, we simply mean that we take portions of the vine, take canes right from the ground area, and literally fan them out on the trellis in the vine space as shown in this schematic. It's that simple. We grow everything from the ground up and in any given year we can start the vine over from the ground and keep bringing it up from the ground 
no long-term permanent vine parts, no long-term trunks, no cordons to deal with, just growth from the ground so that when we get injury, we start right over again and bring it up from the ground. That's the fan training system. Here we have a photo of a Riesling vineyard at our research station near Traverse City. And this photo was taken many years ago, perhaps 15 years ago. And after a severe winter, we had everything die back to the ground area. But because there was 16 inches of snow covering the bottom of the vines at the time of the low temperature episode here, we have most of the growth, almost all of the growth coming up from low on the vine right near the ground. And if we were going to have these low temperature episodes over and over again, this would be the kind of situation where fan training would be suitable. Fortunately, that episode that occurred that caused this severe winter injury did, does not occur m most years in this location. So that we reestablished these to the Scott Henry training system as shown here, and they have performed well for over a decade. What we're really talking about is using fan training when the winter injury is frequent. Another advantage of the fan training system is the ease of pruning. Going back to this schematic, what can be easier than to prune out canes from the ground to be tied up on the trellis with twine and then loosely tied with either twistums or twine or some other loose tie at a wire at the mid height on the trellis and that's quite easy. There's nothing sophisticated about this type of pruning and it can be done readily. Now one of the things about pruning a fan training system is to nurture a renewal of shoot growth that become canes near the ground. And that means to conscientiously create a number of spurs, even if you spur shoots or canes near the ground to keep a uh, collection of canes growing in right near the base of the vine that can be used one year after the other. So that's an important part of managing fan training. Well, another advantage of fan training is the ease of management during the growing season. Here we go back to our schematic and we would say first that when we train things we should have multiple trunks coming up from the ground not just one or even two but multiple trunks coming up from the ground so that if one is injured or another is injured a couple of them injured we still have potential to produce a crop and in this case we have in our schematic a couple of trunks that by the thickness of the white lines indicate that we've kept some older trunks at times when we have periods when we do not have severe winter injury. It isn't necessary to go all the way back down to the ground with all of the trunks every year. If we keep a healthy young trunk, we can continue to fruit that as long as it stays healthy while we bring up young trunks or renewal canes uh, to fill out three, four, five trunks coming up in a fan to get the bud count that we need on each vine each year. If we only have one or two trunks that we fan out, this could be the result. Both of them could be injured if they're of similar age, like these canes were, new canes, they could be so winter injured and develop such heavy crown gall that the vine is doomed and we cannot continue to manage the vine. So keep a lot of spurring near the ground and keep 
multiple trunks, not just double trunks on fan training vines. Here's a situation of wet, heavy clay ground that results in a lot of winter injury to the vines. And you can see that we're bringing up three new canes in addition to the older trunks on this vine to keep a healthy reservoir of growth right near the ground. This is uh, an excellent start for fan training in this vineyard. And here's a situation in the vineyard we showed right at the beginning. And we'll just point out that one way to cope with wet feet, if you will, in a vineyard that really shouldn't have been planted uh, on such a wet site is to hill up under the trellis just as much as you can. You can see the mounds of soil under the trellis here and that at least allows for some soil volume to be drained enough so that we can get some root development in these vines. So that's um, something that isn't part of fan training but it's part of a management of a poor vineyard site that often will be associated with fan training. Here's another picture of that. And you can see that we're having some better success along this row where we've been practicing this mounding as opposed to if you look through the vines into the background, there's lots of rows that have very few vines in them where we haven't mounded up. Okay, we're going to say another advantage of fan training is its ease of conversion to any other training system. Going back to our schematic, you can envision here that if we start with fan training and we decide after a while that, gee, the winter injury isn't as bad, doesn't occur as often as we had feared, from this type of vine architecture, we can proceed to another vine training system easily. You know, we can go to Midway or Cordon we can go to Scott Henry, we can go to any other training system we choose from this vine growth form of fan training and th that way uh, we have kind of a universal start to the training of grapevines in a vineyard with fan training. Well, if we list the disadvantages of fan training, we can begin with saying that it is not systematically mechanizable. And what do we mean by that? Well, here's the photo I have of fan training with three trunks, and the crop is spread out over the vine space, both vertically and horizontally, so that we really can't conceive of machine pruning this or shoe positioning this mechanically because everything is spread sort of randomly with crop over the vine space. The one exception to this is I've seen some growers take fan training like this and in a vineyard once again that's really of questionable value train it like this one year and then come along and side hedge just down both sides of the trellis uh, with a sickle bar and do some rather crude pruning and then come back again the following year uh, with hand pruning. But in a true systematic approach to mechanical pruning or shoot positioning or uh, crop adjustment, we really don't have a way to do it systematically, mechanically with fan training. And Another disadvantage of fan training is that it is a long cane pruning and tying venture. There's no cordons here, so everything is going to be done with pruning out long canes and tying them up each spring. Here's a picture taken in 1999 in a Michigan vineyard. These are Merlot vines, and we had a very, very hard winter 
and the temperature at this site was about minus 16 for a winter low. And on the left, the vines were managed in a sort of forearm Niffin training system by the grower in his commercial approach. We took the vines on the right side and we took them off the wire and we took long canes as you would have for fan training, put them down on the ground and we mulched over them with straw. And you can see the remnants of the straw under the trellis. In the spring after that severe winter, we pruned out the vines, tied up the canes in a fan shape and look at the wonderful potential for a crop that we have here after such a severe winter. But it does illustrate that we will be into long cane pruning and tying of the vines each year when we deal with fan training. Well, another disadvantage is that it's not compatible with canopy management. And that is to say, we are not looking at well-defined zones of fruiting. Uh, we do not have a well-defined fruit zone going back to this photo. It's spread out all over the vine space. And our shoots are growing randomly. They're going up, down, sideways, every which way. So there's really no opportunity for shoot positioning. Some people have gone in and done some random leaf removal around the clusters with fan training to improve fruit exposure but it's just that it's kind of a hit and miss technique rather than something more systematic with some of the other training systems so it's not really advantageous for canopy management when you use fan training well in summary then if we go through the advantages of fan training, the very most important one is that it is the best training system when coping with frequent severe winter injury to grapevines. It's ease of establishment. There's no, no cordons, no permanent parts of the vine to be concerned with. We're just pruning out canes each year from the ground up most of the time, so it's pretty easy to establish. And that makes it easy pruning, too, in terms of uh, not a complicated uh, structure of the vine to deal with. The ease of management. Once we get these things tied up on the wire, the canes, the management is fairly easy. We will do some suckering low on the trellis to take off any shoot growth and fruit production that's too low on the trellis. Uh, to be managed, but other than that, it's pretty easy to manage the vines with fan training. And then the ease of conversion to any other training system, so that from fan training, you can convert to most any other training system readily. Disadvantages, they include that it's not readily mechanizable, that long cane and pruning and tying are required, that it's not compatible with canopy management practices as is the case with many other more sophisticated training systems. And that's it. I hope this has been helpful to you. We thank you for your attention. In our next video, we'll talk about umbrella niffin training, which is especially useful if you're dealing with long fruiting canes that have long inner nodes. Until then, Happy grape growing.